But Jai Caldwell was traded to the Essendon Football Club from the Giants. He's played 11 games. That is the trade right there. This took until 7.29 to go through to Ken Wood. I think they've had a fantastic off-season. I really do. Well, Jai, you had to wait until the very end, but you're finally a bomber. How does it feel? Yeah, it feels great. Obviously, the um, wait wasn't ideal, but um, it gave me a bit of adrenaline and um, excitement when it was finally done. But now I'm here at Essendon and yeah, I'm just looking forward to 2021. How are you following those those last hours of the trade period and, and what were you doing to try and stay calm? Um, I was actually outside doing a fair bit throughout the um, Arvo, but the last hour I flicked on Fox footy and was watching it, just trying to keep a quick eye on it. But yeah, I was pretty good except for that last probably half an hour. You requested a trade to the Bombers before the trade period, despite some other clubs as well being interested in you, but what made you settle on Essendon? I just think it's a very powerful club. It's a like, big Melbourne club. Um, there's a good young group coming through as well, the likes of Parrish, McGrath, Ridley and all that. And um, yeah, it's just, a, I reckon, the place to be with, for the future. You've done a little bit of a tour of the the club today, which uh, the NEC hangar is looking a little bit bigger than usual with the expansion that's going on as well, but what's your initial impressions of it? Yeah, it's, it's huge. So um, I've been here a few times throughout the country and all that, but being here again with that expansion definitely sets it off. So it's um, great to be able to get to work in here most days and yeah, it's a good setup here. And you've also uh, had a little bit of a chat to new senior coach Ben Rutten. How have those conversations gone with Truck and are you looking forward to working with him? Yeah, 100%. Um, so this is his first time as senior coach and um, I'm really looking forward to getting to know Truck on a coach level but also personal level as well. Um, really good fella and can't wait to play under him. And your role for next year, how do you sort of see it um, panning out? Is it that inside midfielder role that you've um, you're really shown you, you can do well? Yeah, that's exactly right. I want to try and get in the midfield there and be an inside midfielder. But um, yeah, it's a lot of hard work and hopefully get there in 2021. Breaks the way of Finlayson on the up for Caldwell. And the Giants get their response. And Jai Caldwell has his first goal in the AFL. We've seen you got quite a competitive nature as well and you're quite tough in your attack on the footy. Where do you think you get that from? Um, I used to do boxing when I was little, so I reckon probably that's where the majority of it came from, but yeah, I'm not too, not too sure. And uh, you, you had to work through some pretty hard injuries there in your, in your draft year, but how do you feel your place now? I read that you've sort of worked into some Pilates as well and you, you're getting better at managing your body. How do you feel heading into your third season? No, it's, um, I'm really confident actually. Like the first um, probably two years I was building myself, building myself up, um, had a couple injuries just the last two years, but now I've um, found a routine that with my Pilates and extra work to um, hit the ground run for my third season. And are there any connections with some of the Essendon teammates yet? Um, I've got a fair few messages off um, all the players, but I've played um, like younger footy with Mozzie in the Vic Country, but keen to get to know all the boys and even their staff and all that. So. And you're in the early stages of your AFL career, you're entering your third season next year, but what sort of player are you hoping to become and how, how do you sort of want to be known? Um, obviously I want to be a really good player like everyone else, but um, I want to be that yeah, inside midfielder that plays 200 games and a couple of flags, but yeah, it's what I was saying before, it's hard work and hopefully I get there. And of course, playing for Essendon means playing on the big stage, Anzac Day, Dreamtime at the G and, and some other big games. Have you allowed yourself to, to dream a little bit about what that could be like? Yeah, I've, actually, um, I've thought about it a couple of times. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, hopefully the crowds will be allowed back by then to the extent. But um, yeah, it's a huge, huge couple of games for the football club. But not only the football club, even the um, AFL. So extremely looking forward to that. Well, it's great to have a chat with you, Jai, and great to see you in the red and black, and all the best for 2021. Perfect, thank you. Go Dons.